Hello, hello! Welcome back, guys! I'm kinda smiling right now because Meta is up significantly after hours, after reporting. And uh, its earnings report was uh, pretty fantastic. And uh, this is the core reason why the company is actually up quite a lot right now. We're going to take a little bit of a closer look, just see what's going on right now. Meta is a company that I have long believed in. And even as they were going down, I kept telling you how much I like the company. And uh, of course, I own shares of the company. And uh, I thought that uh, when it was like below $100, it was basically free money. Right now, as you'll see, we are sitting at a much, much higher price. We're sitting at about $235. You can kind of see it over here on StockTwitch. A lot being discussed. Uh, I can actually keep refreshing and you will see that we are sitting at about uh, 235 right now, which is pretty fantastic and people are talking about it. And I think, I think we're still having a long way to go for Meta especially after it has been uh, annihilated in the past few months for practically not really a reason. For the most part, it was about, uh, you know, uh, sentiment. It's the core reason why many stocks uh, go down for a while. But eventually, you know, value has value and that value is going to surface eventually. Okay, so what, go what happened here? The shares popped 12% after the company reports first sales increase in four quarters. quarters. And we do know that... Um, Many tech companies, including Meta, had issues with their latest earnings. Uh, you know, they had uh, less less revenue, less net income. Expectable, expected actually, because you know uh, the economy was kind of struggling, and it makes a ton of sense for tech companies, especially tech companies, to go down for a while, especially when you know you know you are in in the you know the COVID era, when you are in the interest raising era. It's tough for uh, these kinds of companies to prosper, at least for a while. So this is what happened with companies like Meta, and obviously they provide fantastic, um, you know, entering opportunities if you didn't hold the stock uh, at that time. But uh, if you bought nearly 100 or so, well, more power to you because you have more than doubled your money already, which is absolutely amazing in like, I don't know, three months or something, maybe even less. Okay, so Meta reported an unexpected increase in revenue for the first quarter. Love to hear that. After three straight periods of declines, of course, yeah, is what we talked about. And so the stock extended its uh, very powerful 2023 rally. So what happened? Earnings, $2.20 a share. Revenue, $28.65 billion versus $27.65. So they beat after Microsoft beats, Meta beats as well. This is good news for the overall uh, stock market, I, I would say. And so, you know, even if you are holding any other stocks, this is very nice to hear. And uh, um, obviously, more than likely, the stock market is uh, probably going to be higher tomorrow or just, just on those news. And uh, active uh, users daily and monthly also kind of keep going up. This is uh, the monthly ones are about stale, but daily going up. But remember, Facebook uh, pretty much has like billions of uh, users. You don't really need to see more, frankly. <laughs> you, just keep, you just want to keep the ones that you have and make as much money as possible out of them is the thing. And so this is the important uh, uh, metric here, frankly, the average revenue per user, which is 9.62 versus $9.30. So any increase in that I love uh, because, uh, again, we don't really care so much about like getting uh, the whole globe. We already have that, right? I mean, two billion. How, how many more users are you going to get? What, we, what you do care about right now is have these users and convert them to more money is the more important thing. And I see that and I love to hear that. So Meta's first quarter sales rose 3% from $27.9 billion. After three straight periods in which revenue declined, it wasn't immediately clear if the company's figure was comparable to analyst projections of 2.03. For the second quarter, Meta, this is the guidance, this is what we're expecting to happen uh, next quarter. Meta expects revenue of uh, about 29.5 and 32, which uh, actually is better than expected. It's another fantastic thing here. So Meta is more optimistic about uh, their future than analysts were. And I have talked about it in the past so many times in my videos. When you have a period of downturns, when the economy is heading lower, analysts become uh, less confident in the overall economy, less confident in companies. They become you know, less aggressive with their uh, estimates. And what happens is that they give out some estimates that they tend to be you know, very conserved, uh, conservative estimates. And so what happens is if the company is uh, suddenly doing well and the overall economy kind of recovers, 
then you are looking at this kind of explosive, explosive uh, results here where the company is actually reporting much, much higher values than expected in regards to what is going to be happening in the upcoming quarter. So this is fantastic. And uh, as they said here, the CEO, basically Zuckerberg, we had a good quarter and our community continues to grow is uh, what I'm seeing here. And I, again, I have long said how I really, really like Meta. And one of the core reasons is that adver their advertising is very, very targeted. And this is this is crucial for advertisers. And this is one of the core things uh, why I like Meta so much and why I have been an investor for a long while now. Uh, not at the best price, but still, I'm I'm definitely in the you know in the black <laughs> since a while now. Uh, I think I bought at about 158, something of that sort was my cost basis uh, years ago, actually, when the previous Cambridge Analytica scandal happened. I found a way in because, you know, people were dumping uh, this uh, company for no real reason, frankly. <laughs> but, you know, investors do that and the market does that. And so I bought back then. And right now, we seem to be doing pretty well here with Meta. And frankly, I think this may just be the beginning. I, I made a video about Meta a few days ago, but I needed to uh, update you guys because, uh, you know, the, this is very hot right now and very, very important. So hopefully you're going to enjoy this video. I hope you like that. And obviously I'm going to be giving you out any new updates as I'm getting them, if anything new happens. But we did talk about it in a previous video. I'm going to link that at the end of this one. So if you, are, if you want to hear more about the actual evaluation of the evaluation of the company you may want to take a look at this video that i'm going to be linking right now and thank you for watching this one leave a like and subscribe obviously if you haven't been a subscriber already and i'll see you soon and happy profits bye bye